After the Syrian peace talks nearly broke down earlier this week, it now appears the Syrian government and the main opposition group have reached some common ground. Now I hope that we are approaching uh, a solution for at least the civilians. Under the deal reached in Geneva, Switzerland, Syria's regime has agreed to allow women and children to leave the embattled city of Homs, a city that's been under control of the Syrian regime for about a year. While thousands have fled the city, the opposition says there are still some 800 families left in need of food and medicine. Sunday marks the second day of face-to-face -face peace talks between representative of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government and the opposition members who want to oust him. The most contentious topic, a possible transitional government, hasn't come up yet in their direct talks. The opposition, supported by the U.S. and its allies, says Assad can play no role in Syria's future, while the government says a regime change isn't necessary to move forward. The issue has been shelved for the time being to allow for a focus on more short-term agreements, including a prisoner exchange. The opposition, led by the Syrian National Coalition, has agreed to hand over a list of detainees held by various rebel groups. It, too, is asking for the Syrian government to release political prisoners. This comes on the heels of a report released to CNN and The Guardian that alleges the Syrian government systematically tortured and killed some 11,000 detainees. The United Nations says if negotiators agree to send aid to Homs, it has a humanitarian convoy that could reach the city as soon as Monday. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.